It's the Magic of Math here, and today we're talking Pythagorean Theorem, where we have the legs that form a right angle and the hypotenuse, the longest side, opposite the right angle. Here we go. We have a problem that states that a slide has a ladder that is 13 feet long. The diagram shows the ladder, the slide, and some dimensions. We are asked, what is the length in feet of the slide? And you're given four answer choices to pick from. Here's where I'd like you to pause the video, do your best work, then come back and hit play to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. We're going to determine the length in feet of the slide. So this length right here of the right triangle is the length of the slide. In the problem, we're told that a slide has a ladder, here's our ladder, that is 13 feet long. We know that we have two right triangles that are formed here. So when we go up the ladder and we come straight down by the supports of that ladder, we can see that we're forming a right angle. And we have our slide. We can see there's another support here forming another right angle. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to help identify some missing lengths. So the Pythagorean theorem states a squared plus b squared equals c squared. A and B represent the legs of any right triangle that form the right angle. C is always the longest side of the triangle opposite the right angle, and we call that the hypotenuse. So because we have these right angles, we can see that the other measurements given, the A squared plus B squared, would be 5 feet, and this unknown leg right here, which we're going to label B. Then we're going to be understanding that this ladder is our C. So let's put in what we know. We're going to use A squared is 5, 5 squared plus our unknown side B squared is equal to our longest side, our hypotenuse, 13 squared. 5 squared is 25 plus B squared and 13 squared is 169. We want to solve for B squared by subtracting 25 from each side, which gives us B squared equals 144. To solve for B, this height is square root of each side. Square root of b squared is b. The square root of 144 is 12. So we know the height right here is 12. We can see that these heights are the same. So if b equals 12 here, we know that the height right here of this platform is the same, and this is also a right triangle with legs 9 feet and 12 feet. We can use those two leg measurements to find the hypotenuse, which is the length of the slide. So using the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared will equal that unknown side, c squared. All right, our a is going to be 9 squared plus our b, 12 squared, equals our hypotenuse, our unknown, c squared. 9 squared is 81, 12 squared is 144 all equal to our hypotenuse squared. The sum of 81 and 144 is 225 equal to c squared. To solve for c, the length of our slide, we're going to find the square root of each side of our equation. The square root of 225 is 15, the square root of c squared is c. So our unknown side, c, the length of the slide, is 15 feet. So we can know that the length of the slide is answer choice B, 15 feet. And there you have Pythagorean theorem. The sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the longest side, the hypotenuse. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon, subscribe, and have a great day.